Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Happy Teacher's Day for you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How are you this morning? Uh, pretty fine. Pretty fine. Um, this morning is fresh. <laughs> it but is. I, but I'm not sure how it's upside because I don't know if I will find some traffic or but know. but you are here in El Salvador uh, now yeah yes yesterday I arrived uh, in the morning so and at this time so uh, yeah now I am here <laughs> <laughs> okay welcome back uh, so yeah it was well I don't know if in all El Salvador but I think that in many cities it was raining um yeah, basically here, during the whole night. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. In the afternoon, start here in San Salvador. So mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So the problem in San Salvador is a chaos. <laughs> Every mm -hmm. time that it rained a lot. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now with the games, <gasps> it's even worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, uh, several streets will be closed yeah so yeah it will be many street closed by different reasons ones because of the games the other ones because they are flooded um, um. <laughs> so well good luck <laughs> i hope you don't find so much traffic today yeah well <laughs> but it is what it is so. <laughs> yeah unfortunately but anyway, so welcome back. Today is Friday. That is the uh, bright side. It's Friday. So do you have any plans for the weekend? Um, maybe rest, be with my family because I, I have I'm out from here two weeks. So now maybe it's, um, go out to dinner or something like that with mm -hmm. my family and try to rest because uh when i have to come back here my fly is too early oh really <laughs> i have to be in the airport at 3 a.m so no i have way. To, yeah, <laughs> to wake up at 1 a.m. maybe <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, yeah. yeah. that's difficult <laughs> so i hope tomorrow wake up uh, late <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah try to rest all right sounds good and how about you rocio how are you hello teacher oh, i'm very well today and what are your plans for the weekend? Um, for this weekend, uh, the on, Mo on Monday of the last, the, the next week, I uh, is the I I forget how this is entregar, deliver. I deliver the last revision of my thesis, <gasps> so Good. I need to yeah. work, I need to do the last revisions this weekend so this is my plan <laughs> <laughs> well i hope everything goes well and that you could finish that <laughs> yeah all right sounds good well girls i hope you had a little time to rest during the weekend all right so welcome to the class again do you remember the topics that we studied a speech report that's correct <laughs> So we were talking that, so I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see it? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so today is June 23rd. Basically, guys, we are finishing the, un uh, the week number two, okay? So time flies. Mm -hmm. um, just a reminder, Remember that I will be receiving a the speaking evaluation one. So don't forget to send the audio, okay? Um, if you don't remember, well, these are the instructions. 
just imagine that in your job, you were assigned to give a speech about the uh, stress. Okay, so you can explain what the stress is, you can explain its consequences, um, the symptoms that you might feel. Also, guys, you have to provide some recommendations in order that the people reduce the stress levels. Um, the idea is that when you are speaking, you have to use relative and adverbial clauses to connect sentences. As I mentioned before, it is not necessary, and I'm not asking you to use them in all in every single sentence. No, but I want to listen to some sentences using them. Okay, don't forget to include the vocabulary that we studied in the class. If you remember, we were checking some vocabulary related to stress. And you can include models like can, could, and would. If you want to include more models like must, should, do it. There's no problem at all. Okay? Yes. As always, the audio must last five minutes. You have to send it on WhatsApp's group. Don't forget to add your full names and you have until tomorrow. Okay. Oh, sorry. Saturday. Well, yes, tomorrow yes, is Saturday. Tomorrow Saturday. <laughs> I felt weird because we have a, um, I mean, yesterday it was like a short day for me. <laughs> so that's why I feel weird. But anyway, you have until Saturday. So tomorrow, but you have until 11 a.m. So please try to send it on time. I assigned this homework, like if I'm not wrong on Wednesday, I send it on WhatsApp's group. Yes. So you had enough time. The aspects that I'm going to evaluate, always mastery that you can use the topics correctly. Fluency. As always, uh, don't make pauses, hesitation, try to avoid it. Grammar, uh, vocabulary. The more vocabulary that you use, the more points you will get as long as you use the vocabulary correctly. And if you don't say anything in Spanish, of course. And the pronunciation. So if you don't feel like 100% sure about the pronunciation of a word, dictionary so you can pronounce it correctly. So remember that now we are just sending two audios. We are not going to send one audio per unit. So that is something good. You just have to send one audio every two units. So that's less work for you. Okay, so do it great. Do you have any questions about the speaking evaluation? No? No, teacher. Okay, pretty good, excellent. Okay, talking about the reported speech, that was the topic that we studied yesterday. What is a reported speech? What is that? What do you remember? I think it's when you want to transmit uh, to other people some message, um, that other person tell you. And that is exactly the reported speech. Basically, the reported speech is when we say what another person said, that's all. And remember the rules. Yesterday we were practicing a little bit. So the first rule is that you need to change the pronoun, okay? Imagine that, uh, and this is the example that we saw yesterday. Um, okay, imagine that Michelle says, ah, I will rest. So when we transmit the message, we will say, ah, okay, she said, I will rest. Can I say this? No, right? Uh -huh. We need to change it, exactly. We need to replace the pronoun. Instead of saying I, we have to say she. That is basically of the meaning of the first rule. We need to change the pronoun. 
And the rule number two. Remember, we need to change the verb into the past. For example, in the case of will, we cannot continue using will. Which one can I use? Do you remember? Will. Correct. We will use would. She said she would rest. If I am in simple presence, for example, I live in El Salvador, for example. Ah, she said she, what do I need to do now? Lives. Very good. Like this or in past? Lives or lived? What do you think? Lived. Ah, that's correct. We need to use the verb in past. So she said she lived in El Salvador. So basically, those are the main rules. Change the pronoun change the verb in past. If you have question, there is another rule over there, but hold on, we are going to see that later. Now, if you remember yesterday, I shared with you a box of all the grammar tenses. So if you have a sentence in simple present, the reported speech will be in simple past. If you have a sentence, for example, using can in the reported speech, do you have to use? Could. So what happens if I have a sentence in simple past? Mm -hmm. In which grammar tense do I need to report it? If I have simple past? Past perfect. You have to use past perfect. Perfect, ah. exactly. Past perfect. And what is the structure of the past perfect? If you remember, had, and then the verb in past participle, okay? Now, if we are using future, okay, I have future over here. We will use would. But what happens if I'm using future, but the future is with be going to? How am I going to say the reported speech? Look. Was. Was going to. Or. Exactly, or we're going to, depending on the type of sentence that you are using. So this box is going to help you a lot. That's why I sent it yesterday. So always try to review it. Now let's have a practice. Imagine um, yesterday I was asking some questions. For example, let me ask to, 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 to Paola. Paola, what did you do yesterday after the class? Um, I did exercise. Mm, okay, I did exercise. Okay, guys, what did she say? She say, she uh, said that she had do exercise. She had do exercise. Is that correct, everyone? Only we have to change the done. Ah, instead of do, we need done. done. Remember the structure, guys, for the past perfect? In the past perfect, I need had, that is a helping verb, but I need the verb in past participle. Okay? Now, let's see, let me ask to Fernando. Fernando, what will you do in the afternoon? 
So the question is like the same that I uh, answered uh, yesterday. <clears throat> I will be I will be relaxing. <laughs> ah, okay. I will be relaxing. Ah, because it's Friday. Yes, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what did Fernando say? He said he, he would be relaxing. Ah, very good. He would be relaxing. Look. I'm not using will anymore, I'm using would. And in both sentences, I'm changing the pronoun. That is basically the rule. Now, let me ask, uh, let's see. Uh, David, David, tell me something that you do every day. Um, I work. <laughs> Okay, I work every day. So what did he say? He said he worked every day. He said he worked every day. So look, we change simple present, simple past. Okay, let's see who else, who else. Rocio, what have you done this week? This week I, I went to the park to room and in the mornings. Okay, but the question is what have you done? Try to answer using the present perfect. Okay, I okay, I have uh when gone gone uh -huh. uh, running. Okay, I have gone running. So what did he say, guys? I'm sorry, what did she say? She said she has gone running. Ah, very good. So if I have a sentence in the present perfect, I always have to say it in the past perfect. Okay? So if you see guys, basically this is the way that we are using the reported speech. The main rules, change the pronoun and change the grammar tense into the past. As simple as that. Is it clear? Yes. yes? Are you sure? Okay, so we are going to have a practice. Um, let's see, let's see. Well, yesterday we started an exercise, so we are going to complete it today. Uh, there are only three sentences. Mm -hmm. So you have to tell me what is the correct answer. If I say, look, my friend, okay, he was the one who was talking, my friend Tom. Mm -hmm. My mother gave me $100 for my birthday. What will be the correct reported? B. The letter B. Letter B. So my mother gave me $100. Ah, he said that his mother gave him $100 for my birthday. Um, for his birthday. Ah. <laughs> I think. Okay, letter A. a. And letter remember, a. the sentence is in simple. Past. Past. So I need to report it in the past perfect. Okay? So that's the correct answer. Be careful, be careful. Okay, how about this one? I'll have Potter. So we have future over there. What will be the correct one?
I think um, Bella promised she would have for her. Yeah. Okay, so letter B? Yes. Yes. Correct, that's the one. Excellent job. All right, and the last one, they visited Japan. Let's see, he said mm. they had visited Japan. They had visited Japan. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Totally. Very good. That's great. All right. So if you remember, guys, the main purpose of the um, reported speech is basically to reply or transmit a message that the other person says. So today I have here some famous people, okay? And we are going to report what they said, okay? So let me open up uh, this picture. So pick someone. Which famous people do you want? The Rock. Who? The Rock. The Rock, okay. Okay, look at this one. The Rock says, my wife's name is Lauren. What did he say? What will be the reported he speech? He said, his what uh, his wife wife's name was Lauren. Very good, yeah. excellent. So if you pay attention, instead of my, we have to say is. his. Instead of is, we have to say was. Correct. Yeah. Excellent job. Okay, then he said, I was born in California. What did he say? Uh, he said that he has been born in California. Correct. Excellent job. Look, we have passed. We need to report it into the past perfect. I have one brother and one sister. Mm -hmm. He says he had one brother and one sister. Nice job. Excellent. And then he said, my hobbies are exercising and fishing. He said his hobby were exercising and fishing. Good job. And the last one. Let's omit the word no. He said that, uh, well, I can't play the piano. Uh huh. He said he couldn't play the piano. Nice job. Excellent. Pretty good. Easy or difficult? Uh huh. What do you think? But you you have to pay pay attention <laughs> that's pay true <laughs> you have to pay a lot of attention i mean you have to identify the pronouns you have to uh, identify the grammar tense so it requires a lot of attention but you are doing great excellent okay who else pick another one Volunteer? Cristiano. Okay, let's see. So he says, my name is Cristiano. What did he say? His name was, his name was Cristiano. That's it. So he said his name was. Pretty good job. Then I'm from Portugal. He said, he was from Portugal. Great. I'm 36 years old. He, he said uh, he was 
36 years old. Perfect. I'm a professional soccer player. He said he was a professional soccer player. All right. And the last one, I live in Italy. He said he lived in Italy. Very good. He said he lived in Italy. Perfect. Excellent job. Okay, I listened to a lot of the girls are participating a lot. And David, thank you, Fernando, try to participate. Okay, pick someone else. Fernando, choose one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, who? Oh, yeah, Fernando, give us one. Ariana, I don't know if you hear me. Ariana Grande? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. She said, my hair is blonde. Uh, she uh, said her hair was blonde. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, guys. I live in Los Angeles. She said he is Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, she, she said she lives in Los Angeles. Correct. Uh, then, my favorite food is sushi. Her favorite food was sushi. Correct. I got to sleep at 10 p.m. She said uh, she went to sleep at 10 p.m. Very good. And the last one, I'm five feet tall. Uh, uh, she was five feet tall. Very good job. Excellent, guys. You are doing great. So that is basically the reported speech. Keep in mind, change the pronoun and change the grammar tense. That's all. Okay? Uh, is there any questions about the report of the speech? Yes? No? Are you sure? Okay. Now, if you paid attention, basically, we just have been reported affirmative sentences. So what happens if I want to report questions? Okay, that's what we are going to check right now. Remember the rules, always change the pronoun, always change the grammar tense. But now what happens if I have questions? We are going to identify if it is a yes no question or if it is a double H question. Uh, yes, Paola, do you have a question? Yes. Um... What uh, the only uh, tense with, with this kind of sentence is in simple past, uh, but, uh, simple present, and in future. Or what happens if a person say, for example, I have been in Italy. Oh. So uh, how can I change it to report speech? In this case, guys, remember, we can use the reported speech in all the grammar tenses, in all of them, even if we have the present continuous, past continuous in all of them. So in this case, let's see the sentence. Imagine if he says, I have been, this one, or I have lived in Italy. That is the one? I have been, yeah. Or, okay. well, it's, it's okay, but I, I want to see in present perfect. But. Ah, okay. I have been in Italy, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is the present perfect. If I have a sentence in present perfect, in which grammar tense do I need to report it? Do you remember? Past. In past perfect. 
exactly. So we have to say, ah, he said he, instead of have, had. He said he had been in Italy. So we are going to report it into past perfect. Okay? Okay, it's the same rule, but in perfect. <laughs> exactly. Remember that the only grammar tense that is not going to change is the past perfect. Imagine that I have a sentence in the past perfect. I had worked a, a lot. Okay, what is the grammar tense? I uh, had worked. Said, I had worked. Uh huh. No. no. Okay, in this case, the grammar tense is past perfect. So, what happens if I have a sentence in past perfect? In which grammar tense do I need to report it? What do you think? Do you remember? In the same. Exactly. The same. This <laughs> is not going to change. He said he had worked a lot. We are going to report it in the same. And this is what I explained yesterday. It's like, como que lo enviamos un tiempo gramatical atrás. Pero atrás del past perfect, we don't have more grammar tenses. I mean, this is like the last one. Ya no hay nada, ya no hay otro tiempo gramatical en el pasado. Ya no hay más. That's why el past perfect, we are going to report it in past perfect. That is the only one that is not going to change. Understood? Yes? Yes. Okay, I hope so, I hope so. No worries, we are going to continue practicing. I know that this topic is a little bit complicated and don't forget that you have the platform. On the platform, you will find specific exercises about it, okay? Now, let's go back to the questions. Do you know that we have two types of questions? We have yes, no questions and we have the double H questions. If I have yes, no questions, I need to include one word. What is the word that I need to include? If. if. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Look, in this type of questions, I have a yes, no question. So do you speak English? The rule is the same, okay? change the pronoun, change the grammar tense, and now we just need to include if. We are not going to report it with the uh, complete structure. We are going to replace it as an affirmative sentence. Do you speak English? Okay, he asked me, okay. Imagine that the question is, Para ti, porque estamos diciendo you, right? So that's why we say, he asked me, I need the word if, and then I will say the same sentence, but in affirmative. Of course, if I am in simple present, the verb must be in simple past. He asked me if I spoke English. Do I need the question mark at the end of the sentence? Yes or no? What do you think? Not really, I think. Uh, because Why? it's not a question, it's just a, a, a sentence is a, we use ask. So exactly. we, are, we are saying that at the end of the day, they are us. <laughs> In this case, exactly, we don't need it. It's not a question, actually. We are just reporting the question. And in the end, look, the structure is just like an affirmative sentence. Okay? 
Ojo, in this case, guys, we don't say said anymore. Now we are using the verb ask. Okay? Look at another one. Remember, this is in all the grammar tenses. I have another question, but this question is in present perfect. Have you bought a new computer? He asked me if, again, the sentence, let's move the grammar tense, had bought a computer. Okay, I don't need a question mark. I need to add the word if. Another example, can you give me a sentence, guys, in future? I just no question, in future. Will you go to the party? Okay, perfect. Will you go to the party? Okay, what did she ask? She asked me if I, uh, if I would. If go. I would? Go to the party. Good. Look. Excellent. In this case, let's change. Instead of using will, I'm using Ooh. would. Instead of saying you, always change the pronoun. And now we are adding if. Clear? Yes? Yes. Easy or difficult? 50-50? If you see, I mean, the rules are the same, right? Always change the pronouns, always change the subject, change the grammar tense. If it is a just no questions, we are just adding if. Let's have a practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences. Give me the correct answer. But we are going to do it individually, okay? I will give you one sentence, each one. Um, let's see, the first sentence will be for Michelle. The second sentence, uh, let's see, let's see, Fernando. The next one, David. The next one, Paola. And then Rocio, but I need to scroll down the, the screen. So, okay. Uh, whenever you're ready, guys. Okay. Uh, Scott asked me if Tim, if Tim lived in Warsaw. Okay. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? Look, if Tim lived lived is that lived. correct everyone yeah. what do you say i think yeah it yeah. is very good if you see we are changing the grammar tense we need to say it in past we add if and we don't need auxiliary we are just saying the sentence as in affirmative sentence very good excellent Okay, who else? It's my turn. Um, Michelle, are you staying in a hotel? And Michelle asked me if uh, I was staying in a hotel. Okay, if I was staying in a hotel. Hmm, what do you think, guys? Is that correct? If I was staying? Yes. Totally correct. Exactly. I added if, yes, I change the pronoun and look, instead of saying are, easy. Let's go for the simple past. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, the last, it will be for Rocio, so you can see the sentence now. Okay, guys, David or Paola, are you ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. Um, Scarlett asked me if Kay will meet her friends tomorrow. Okay, if Kate will meet her friends tomorrow. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? 
Yes. Totally correct. Remember, instead of saying will, we say would. And of course, don't forget to use F. Excellent. Uh, Paola, you ready? Yes. Uh, Thomas asked me if I had sent an email. If? I had. Uh huh. An email. An email. Very good. So look at this, guys. Is that correct? If I had? Yes. Totally. In this case, remember, present perfect, we need to change it into the past perfect. Pretty good job. Okay, Rocio? Uh, mother asked me if I had packed her suitcase. Okay, packed. Packed her suitcase. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. My mother asked me if I had packed her suitcase. Mm, do you think that is her? Um, In this case, it will be? Oh, sorry. It's my. <laughs> That's correct. It's, yes. Excellent. But the rest of the sentence, totally correct. Excellent. So this is the way that we can report yes, no questions. Again, we can do it in all the grammar tenses. Okay? Change the pronoun, change the grammar tense, and now we have to include if. Got it? Yes? yes. Okay. So let's have another example, but give me a second. Oh, but we are going to complete the, the grammar box. What happens if I have a double H questions? Remember, just no questions, we just need to add if. But now what happens if I have a double H questions. Always we are going to use ask. Then look, what do I need? The double H word. Do I need the word if in this scenario? Yes or no? No. Not really. I just need the double H word. And then I need the sentence in Affirmative. What's your name? Imagine that this person asked me. So we are going to say, she asked me, double H word, what? And then the sentence in affirmative. What my name? Let's change the grammar tense. What my name was. Do you remember, guys, the topic that we studied? in the previous uh, course about the indirect questions? Yeah. So basically what we do here is just that. We take the direct questions and we transform it into an indirect question. The only difference is that now we are changing the grammar tense, okay? Another example, what time will you arrive? He asked you what time you, look, would arrive. When we are talking about questions, it's necessary to know the perspective. You have to identify who is the person asking to. And the first one is asking me. That's why I say, ask me if da 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 da, right? In the second, it doesn't specify that the question is for me. So if it doesn't specify, we can use the same you. Okay? It's going to depend. If you don't have a context, it's okay. You can just reply it that way. Si tienen 
identifiquen hacia quién va dirigida la pregunta. Si va hacia ti, entonces decimos ask me. Si la pregunta no está dirigida hacia ti, sino que la pregunta se le están haciendo a él, diríamos ask him or ask her. Another example. Imagine if I say, um, what did you eat yesterday? And I'm asking you. Okay, so the question is for you. What will be the report of the speech? What did she ask? She asked me. Uh huh. I. Double H word. What, what, what I ate. Uh -huh. Ah, very good. Look, she asked me what I ate yesterday. That's all. So, the structure, remember, is basically just like a sentence in affirmative. In this scenario, we are not going to use the word if. Again, I will give you some sentences individually. Okay, let me open up the sentences. Uh, it's right here. Okay, um, again, one by one, let's start with this one will be for Rocio. This one will be for Paola. David. And this one will be for Fernando. And the last one will be for Michelle. Okay. Okay, Gary asked me where I was going. Where I was going, very good. Look, instead of saying you, we say I, because he's asking me. We don't say are anymore, we say was. Very good. Who's next? Um, Betty asked me when, wait, when will Annie come back? Betty asked me when Annie would come back. Would come back, that's it. Listen, if I have a proper name in the sentence, we don't change it. We change it if we had to like the pronoun, but in this case, it's about any, so we don't need to change it. And look, when, yes, we have the double H word, and instead of will, we use would. Excellent. Okay, who's next? Rose asked me how she will get how she could uh, get to, to the, the subway. subway. Okay, Rose, ask me how she could get ta, 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 ta. Is that correct, guys? Totally correct, very good. I have a sentence as in affirmative and we keep the same rules. Double H word, we change the pronoun and we change the verb. Excellent. Okay, the last one will be for Michelle. Okay. Fernando, you ready? Edward asked me what um, my sister will do tomorrow. What my sister will do tomorrow. Perfect. Excellent job. You see, guys? You are doing great, it's pretty easy. Okay, uh, Michelle, you ready? Yeah, I think. Uh, Charles asked me what time the train leaves. Leave. The train? Leave it. Mm, is that the past form of leave? Uh,
Okay, guys, help her. What is the past form of leave? Left. Left. Yes. Remember that this is an irregular verb. So, pretty good. What time did train left? Excellent. So, guys, this is the way that we can report questions. Understood? Yes? Easy? Difficult? In this, in this case, teacher, in the last sentence, uh -huh. I, uh, can I say um, what, uh, what time the train did leave? Or is more, um, I don't know, formal or in the, because let's suppose I don't remember what is the path of leave. But oh, do I, you mean, do you mean saying like this, lived? No, uh, I think a uh, child, a uh, child asked me what time the train did leave. Because ah, I like did leave, leave. I, like yeah. this? Using okay. the auxiliary. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> not really. It is not possible. Listen, I only use did in an affirmative sentence to make an emphasis. So, for example, if I say, guys, did you do the homework? Yes, teacher, I did. But I don't believe you, right? And I, are you sure? Did you do the homework? Yes, teacher. But if I don't believe you and I say, mm, I don't know, right? And you said to make an emphasis, teacher, I did, okay? Or imagine if someone says, did you take a shower? Yes, mm, I don't believe you. So you say, I did take a shower. So we use this one just to make an emphasis but not because we don't remember the verb, okay? <laughs> yeah, so be careful. I know that there are a lot of verbs. I know that sometimes we can forget, right? What's the past form or what the past participle form is. It's totally normal. So always try to review the verbs, okay? Now, uh, oh my gosh, it's very late. We don't have a lot of time, but let's have the last practice. Uh, okay. Pick another celebrity, please. Jennifer Lopez. Okay. So these are sentences, but now we are going to report the questions. Where is your family from? Now, because we are talking about she, we are going to say, uh, he asked her, like the reported asked her, okay? What will be the reported here? And she said, no, wait. He, he asked, asked her? He asked her, sorry, he asked her where your family where her family where her family was from okay look i know that the, in this case is a little bit confusing remember the question is for her so we are talking about her so he asked her where her family Oh, yes. Was from. From, exactly. That is the one. Okay, look at the next one. What was your first movie? Uh, he asked her what her first movie was. Was? No. Been? Have. Had? Then that is the one. So he asked her what her first movie had be. been. Be. Very good. Okay, the next. How old are you? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
He asked her. I don't know if uh, he asked her how she was. That is the one. Oh, how yeah. old she was. was. Perfect. What are your kids' names? Uh huh. What do you think? Ask her what your uh -uh. Uh, her kids' names were. That's the one. Excellent. Okay, the last one because we don't have more time. What kind of movies do you like? He asked her what. Oh my goodness. Um, what kind of movie um, she likes? She liked. Uh huh. Ah, she. Sure. Yes, he asked her what kind of movies she, now simple past, liked, okay? So guys, that's the way that we can report double H questions, you're doing great. Okay, I know it's a little bit confusing, it's a little bit difficult, you need to pay a lot of attention, however, you are doing great. I hope for the next week, you don't forget this topic because we are going to try to practice it a little bit more, okay? Do you have any questions before leaving? No. No questions? No. Okay, don't forget guys to send the audio, okay? Try to send it on time. If you have questions about it, you can send it on WhatsApp group and I will help you. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. See you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah.